Second question, some oxide of the elements in period 3 are shown in this. So we have sodium until the sulfur oxides. Okay, part A. Sodium reacts with oxygen to form sodium oxide. Sodium is a reducing agent. Okay, define reducing agent. When we try to define reducing agent or oxidizing agent, we need to define in terms of electron transfer. So which means you have to answer it's either donate electron or it's gains electron. Okay, so since the sodium is the reducing agent, okay, means sodium after it uh, reacts with oxygen, it will form okay, sodium ion. And it will release two electrons from two moles of sodium, or one mole of sodium will release one mole of electron. And this electron is gained by oxygen, and oxygen will reduce to oxide. So that's why we say that sodium is a reducing agent because it donates electron okay so that's the part one part two write an equation for the reactions uh, between the sodium oxide and water sodium oxide and water it just form one compound sodium hydroxide and this one uh, the stick symbol is not needed uh, but I just let you know what is that. Okay, sodium oxide is a solid, reacts with H2O liquid, not aqueous, it's liquid, to form sodium hydroxide aqueous. Sodium hydroxide is soluble in water, so we put aqueous. Okay, just balance it, right? So you get one mark. Okay, part B. Aluminum oxide is an amphoteric oxide. Okay, state what it means by amphoteric. This one is very easy. Okay. The species that reacts with both acids and base means the species that has the uh, acidic and the basic properties. Okay, part two. Aluminum oxide is purified from this bauxite in diff, uh, uh, multiple steps. Okay, the first step involves heating of aluminum oxide with NaOH aqueous a colorless solutions form so you need to give an equations be, uh, between the aluminum oxide and sodium hydroxide okay of course it's not going to be just these two many many candidates they forgot this h2o okay this one is the base this one now is as acid so this will form a salt later, but uh, in order to form this salt, the NaAl black get OH4. So this one is soluble in water. So that's why it's colorless solution. But in order to form this compound, it must together with water. Means aluminum oxide must react with NaOH and water together. These three form this solution okay you have to remember this huh? and balance it part three aluminum oxide okay is used as a catalyst for dehydration of alcohol okay now the Boltzmann distribution is given in this figure 2.1 okay state the effects of uh, using this aluminum oxide catalyst of the de dehydration of alcohol Okay, very easy, just a general uh, explanation about the catalyst uh, in the Boltzmann distribution. Okay, this one is without catalyst. And when we use a catalyst, if you lower the energy, when we say that lower energy means it's go to left. So you just need to put another EA with catalyst, right? So the EA must be lower energy here, right? Any point. Okay, after the EA here, you put EA cap. Okay, the use of catalyst enable a greater proportion of molecules with energy same or more than EA. So now the new EA is here. 
So the numbers or the proportion is more, means it's these numbers. If without catalyst, the numbers is lesser, it's just this one. That's why uh, it say that the numbers of the molecules that are able to react to form product is higher because it's including this part all together, right? And therefore, the frequency of effective collision increases, which will give more products or increase the rate of reaction. Okay, part C. We have this uh, phosphorus oxide with melting point 24 degrees C is quite low. And um, this solid P4O6 reacts with water to form H3PO3. Okay, means the equation is this. This react with water form H3PO3. This is the equation. Okay, part one. Deduce the type of structure. Structure, we have sim simple or giant. Obviously, this one is simple because very low melting point. Very low melting point. So, it's a simple molecular because phosphorus oxide, this oxide is a molecular. It's a molecule. So, structure is simple molecular. Since it reacts with water, so it will undergo hydrolysis. Whenever a, any a compound reacts with water, okay, it must undergo hydrolysis. So we, we know that it must has covalent bond because it's being hydrolyzed, reacts with water. Okay, so this one is you have to explain in terms of structure, this one and the bonding. Bonding must be covalent because it reacts and is hydrolyzed. Determines the oxidation number of the P in H3PO3. Very easy. Oxygen is negative 2 times 3 negative 6. Hydrogen uh, is positive 1 okay, times 3, so it's positive 3. And the whole molecule is neutral, therefore phosphorus must be positive 3. Okay, part 3. When the P4O6 is heated with oxygen, uh, it's from P4O10 solid. And the enthalpy of the reactions given, okay, negative 1372. The enthalpy change of formation for the P4O10, this one, also given. Okay, so it's negative. Uh, one, 3, 0, 1, 2. Calculate the enthalpy change of formation of this P4O6. Very easy. You need to use this equation. Okay. In order to get this delta HR, it must be a products, the delta HF of products minus delta HF of reactant. In this reaction, the product is P4O10. So you have to substitute the delta HF of P4O10 here. And the delta HR already given, substitute this one to here. Then you find this one. The reactant is P4O10. So you get this. Rearrange, then you get this. Negative 1640. Okay, part 4. Write an equation for the reactions of P4O10 with water. I told you already just now, right? So it's uh, if uh, it's as this symbol, then you should give P4O10 solid, okay, H2O liquid, and H3PO4 equals because it's P4O10, so you must. It's different from here slightly just now, because just now here is uh, P4O6, huh? so it's from H3PO3. So and this question now is asking P4O10. Okay, just uh, use the one that you learned before, right? It's from H3PO4, the phosphoric acid, right? Okay, part D, SO2 and SO3 are found in atmosphere. Okay, and we can oxidize SO2 to SO3 using NO2. 
Equation 1 shows that the oxidation of SO2 to SO3 using this gas. Okay, part 1. Construct an equation to show NO2 is regenerated uh, in the catalytic oxidation of SO2. Very easy. You just need to put uh, NO with oxygen from NO2. Okay, so all gassed. NO2 also reacts with unburned hydrocarbon to form photochemical smog. Okay, state the products of this reaction that contribute to this photochemical smog. Normally, uh, they will ask uh, what is the compound or what is the things that form. That, therefore, sometimes photochemical smog is the answer. Because this part already given this photochemical smog, so you must give the compound's name. Uh, if you cannot re uh, cannot really remember this one, you just put P A N. It's a short form of this proxy acetyl nitrate. So P A N. Okay, part three. Figure two point two shows the how the temperatures of the atmosphere varies with the height of the uh, from the ground. Okay, so from here, from this graph, uh, I assume you already uh, analyzed the question and know what is happening. Okay, so uh, when it's 50 km, so we know that the temperature is uh, higher. 20 km, the temperature is lower. Okay, so from this graph, we get this, uh, this information. 20 km, lower temperature. 50 km, higher temperature. So. The equilibrium of the reactions uh, already given, so is uh, negative one six eight. So is XO, uh, XO, delta H is XO. Suggest how the position of this equilibrium differ at the height of twenty km compared to fifty km. So twenty km then, uh, what is what is going to be? Okay, we know that twenty km now is lower temperature, so the equilibrium try to increase the temperature. That's why it will shift to right. Lower temperature is shift to right because it's try to release more energy to increase the temperature. Okay, therefore, what you need to explain is where it's going to shift. Equilibrium will shift more to right at 20 km as the forward reaction is exothermic. Okay, and because the temperature is colder at 20 km, that's why it shifts. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.